In this video, I want to drop back to the basics. Now, last week, if you looked at the video that I did for you regarding the E-mini S&P, we talked about this market and we went through and we drew all of these trend lines, right? It looked almost like this little crosshatch uh, trend as we went through the market, as we drew all of our trend lines. This is kind of indicative of what happens when you draw your trend lines from top to bottom, top to bottom. And of course, we use the blue light system to kind of give us the guide as to where these things are going to break and rally. So this is kind of going back to the basics, just drawing simple trend lines. But I think that trend lines are one of the most powerful tools that we have, which is why the blue light is so important. The blue light is one of the indicators that we use to help us know and identify. It's a mathematically calculated trend line. That's really what it is. And so I want to go through and just show you some examples of drawing trend lines. Now, if you haven't done this exercise yourself, it's time that you pull up your charts and go through and just draw trend lines. All right, and I'm going to show you I've done that here in a few different charts. Here's gold. Uh, I've drawn a few trend lines in here for us, and here's silver. I've drawn a couple of trend lines in here. You can see each time the market breaks these trend lines, it's a good place for entry into the market to the next level. If we come down here, here's the NASDAQ. I've drawn a bunch of little trend lines in here. So I want you to do this uh, on your own. I want you to go through and go through the exercise and do this. If we come in here to crude oil, you can see I've got a chart here that's not got any trend uh, lines on it. So let's just come in here and do this very quickly. The first thing you want to do is just kind of identify the trend and the counter trend. Okay, just come in and very easily you can see it's kind of cheating here because you've got the blue lights on and it kind of tells you where to draw those lines, right? Again, it's mathematically calculated. So this is going to be your uptrend lines. You can come in here and just draw your trend lines in here with the blue light again on the upside and you can come in and just draw them right up those trend lines just like that and again right up the last trend line and you can see the nice breaking of these trend lines in here uh, right when they match the blue light system that's going to be your best signal and those are the locations that you want to be getting into the market so here's another nice little trend line again the blue light kind of helps you identify where you're supposed to be putting those so it's kind of like a little cheat right so we come in here and we cheat the market by using the blue light to kind of help us identify where our trend lines are supposed to be and then we use that as an indication of where we're supposed to be getting to the market. So you have a rally, a counter trend, a rally, a counter trend, and we have a rally and a counter trend. And it really kind of starts popping off the screen in which direction or where the market's going to go next. And that's what we want to know, right? As technical analysts, as traders, we want to kind of have an idea of where the market's going to go next. Again, here's uh, my gold chart where I've come through and drawn these trend lines in here. The breaking of the trend lines down an obvious downtrend, you know, as this thing comes and breaks and breaks and breaks. Each one of those locations have been a great place to put an order. We come in here again, here's silver. Uh, let's come down here. Uh, and in the NASDAQ, this is again, I've gotten this one in here. And then the Russell, I showed you these. But not only do we do this on the daily chart, we can come down and we can do this on the uh, the smaller time frame. So here's one that I've done for you on the Russell 2000. You can see coming in here and I've drawn all these little trend lines in here. Uh, each place, again, following along with the blue lights, making the crossovers, and coming into these points. And then you see the little triangle wedge formations as they appear as we come in with the different trends and we get the different reoccurring price patterns. Let's come in and do it here on the NASDAQ. This is the NASDAQ. So let's uh, come in here with our trend lines. And this is, you know, just keeping it real simple, just kind of coming in here and following that blue light, drawing our trend lines in here, making these little cross hatches. And you can see the trend, the breaking of the trend lines. When those things match right up perfectly, that's where you want to be getting into the market. Not every time the market crosses is it a time to get into the market. So you want to be judicious about this. Watch this market as it comes into these different formations. You can see this market's coming into a nice little wedge formation right here, of course, down here on a range bar six. So we can do this on any time frame, whether it's a range bar six, 15 minute, five minute, 30 minute, two hour, four hour chart, all the way out to the daily chart. And this is where we come in and we get our trend lines. And we use that to help us indicate crossovers or breakovers of trends and counter trends. It's all about trends and counter trends. And these are the best locations for entering a market against these trends versus the counter trends. So I want you to go through and as an exercise, go through and draw your trend lines. Use the Bulls and Bears blue light system as kind of a little cheat to help you identify where you should be crossing those uh, trend lines at. But of course, you want to be running crossed in there with highs and lows of the different trends of the market. Look back in history and then kind of move out into uh, current time and see where this market's going to go. And that's a good getting started trading exercise for you.